Is there any reason that you and him are driving like that? Because that's like the, he pissed you off. Okay, because both of you pissed me off. Because that level of driving here with people that aren't playing your game of driving and seeing who could get in front of who is absolutely unacceptable. Let me see your driver's license. I don't have it on here. You don't have. Oh, so you're driving the way you are and you're suspended. I, I don't care where you are going. There isn't a stipulation in Arizona state law that says I can drive in an overly aggressive manner while my license is suspended. And you're not wearing your seatbelt. So, I don't know what you expect from this traffic stop, but that level of driving is unacceptable. Do you have any ID so I know who you are? Hello, sir. Hi, why were you driving like that? Back there. I watched what you did. No, I know. You also have a brake that functions in this vehicle, right? Yes, sir. So you didn't have to race in front of him and cut him off and then hit your brakes. You could have simply just applied your brake yep. and let him go by, yep. right? Yep. But did. you didn't, and you decided to travel at a criminal amount of speed, the speed limit here is 45, to get in front of him and then road rage him and slam on your brakes the second that you got in front of him. Is any of that incorrect? No, yes, I didn't slam on my brakes. He was back there flipping me off, moving on me. That's why I passed him. Okay. And then I moved back in and you're absolutely right. I slowed down, but you I slowed, slowed down. Okay. Coming out. I did not brake okay. check him. I didn't go hard. But, but you did, you right. cut in front of him and well, then you applied your brakes. I moved when I knew it was safe. I was way, I didn't cut anybody off. I didn't do anything aggressive, but I did apply my brakes. So, and, sorry. I'm but the passing sorry. movement was aggressive. Because it was at a criminal amount of speed. I was hoping you could have seen him flipping me on and all that. Which I, I, it doesn't matter. See your driver's license. So I'm Deputy Slope, working for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. No the reason I stop you is for aggressive slash reckless driving, criminal speed. I may see your registration, current proof insurance. So he says that you were doing some sort of like swerving and flipping him off. Was there, was there anything like that? He was behind me. I know, I know, I saw him. He came up behind me and he flew right behind me. It mm -hmm. almost hit me as he went by. I, I saw that also. So I just wanted to run him down and him from him. Okay, I'm Pro sorry. probably not a good idea. I know, I know. Right? I now, know. now as you sit here I got and, and tempers have, have settled down a little bit, probably not the best idea to see someone driving in a manner that's unsafe and then aggressively chase them down so you could have a conversation with them, which probably wouldn't be wouldn't as cordial. Well. I know, yes. Which wouldn't be as cordial as this conversation. All right, hang tight for me, boss. Settle down. There's a lot of there's a lot of bad decisions that's in between us to the front and back right now. Um, uh, what we saw before we hit the camera was some like aggressive, reckless driving, like super fast speeding, cutting off lane changes, and it's just two guys that have no ability to control their tempers. Um, and I don't I don't understand why this happens on roadways in Santan when we're out here just trying to keep people safe, but everyone's gonna leave here with a ticket today. You're both getting tickets, but because you're parked here, I'm just gonna write to you first so I can get you out and away from behind me. Um, so, at one point, trying to catch up to you guys, I was doing over 90 miles an hour. Not that you were, I was trying to close the speed. Um, a couple times, speeds in the 70s popped up, which means that and you guys were faster than that. So, well, what I can absolutely say is that you were over 70 miles an hour. So, your citation is for 70 and a 45, which is a criminal amount of speed. RMP stands for reasonable and prudent, which for you is zero because your driver's license is suspended. So you're getting a citation for driving while your license is suspended, Exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour, not wearing your seatbelt, and not having current proof of mandatory insurance. You're gonna have a mandatory court date. He is going to get a mixture of these same tickets. Um, he's not suspended and he has insurance and was wearing his seatbelt, but he's also gonna get some, some citations. So, just need you to sign right here. By signing, you're not saying you did anything wrong. All you're saying is that you promised to appear. Now I seized your driver's license because it is illegal for you to be in possession of it when it is knowingly suspended. So I'm gonna take it, return it back to MVD. You need to get one. I also don't wanna leave you sitting here behind me. So I want you to do is move your car into the Circle K parking lot and leave it there. Okay, I'm gonna give that to you there. If you can move, I'm gonna make sure traffic's good. If you can move around my car, just cause I don't want you blocking my red and blue lights from people, 
And please, read some books on Stoicism. Be more calm and level-headed and less emotional when you're driving. It'll make you safer and you'll have less conversations with us. My time overseas. I'm sorry? It was my time overseas. It happens, man. I, I have some of my very most best friends are combat vets, so I've, I've, had, I've had a lot of conversations about that. But you can't use that as a reason to get sideways with people here. Okay? I so. There's a, there's a better version. That's it. All right? If you could move your car out of the roadway, I sure would appreciate it. All right, good sirs. Take care of some business here. Okay. So, he got a bunch of tickets. He's on his way. Yep. You're getting some tickets. You're yep. going to be on your way now that I've separated you two. So, Absolutely. all the information up here is yours. Vehicle's information's here. At, and what I told him, uh -huh. same way I'm going to tell you. At one point, I was doing over 90 miles an hour trying to catch you guys okay. because you guys were speeding in front of me. So, my radar was picking up speeds in the 70 range, um, or anywhere from low 70s to high 70s which would be consistent with me having to travel at a higher speed to catch up with you. So, yep. the way the way physics works. I got you. Um, so, what I can swear on a stack of Bibles as tall as your lifted truck without mud flaps is that you were doing at least 75. Okay. At least. Okay. Posted speed limit here is 45. Gotcha. You are walking the line of aggressive driving. Okay. Per Arizona State statute, aggressive driving requires multiple violations of Arizona Motor Vehicle Law and it needs three, and I could, again, swear on a stack of Bibles on two of them. I couldn't swear on three, gotcha. so all I'm gonna do is cite you with the two. Okay. The two are exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour, okay. and that unsafe lane change of passing him on the left and then cutting in, because you shouldn't be passing a vehicle on the left at a speed okay. that is over the speed limit in a criminal matter. So, yep. um, now, the criminal speed is a criminal offense. It's gonna require that you go to court, Okay. And you know what would have been easier? Tap on your brakes, let him go down the road and be a jerk to someone else, and then you're at your appointment on time. Also, it's a great lesson in stoicism, man. All right, if you guys don't have any, I appreciate you guys wearing your seatbelts. If you don't have any questions, you're free to go. Thank you so much. You also. See your driver's license, please. Lost out here, so I have this way. Well, what you're typically when you're lost, not driving fast is better than driving fast. Oh, hey, you put your seatbelt on. That doesn't work, man. Sorry, you might as well take it off because that's how it was when you were driving. All right, let me see your driver's license, please. All right, man, I know that you got you got stopped by another member of the traffic unit back in 2021 down here in Santan Valley, so you got to know. When you come down here, you gotta obey the laws more than you do up in the valley because we actually enforce them, okay? Make sure you put your seatbelt on, drive safely today. Well, that was exciting. Oh my God. It's off. Oh my God, not too good. Oh my God, what? It's a deputy up uh, frame. Slope, yeah. How are you? Good, ma'am, see your driver's license. All right, well, you know who I am. As soon as you give me your license, I'll know who you are. So, um, so that was kind of exciting there. Do you have any idea what the speed limit is out on Acatillo? Yeah, 45. 45, yeah. You know how fast you were went past the signs that said 45? Pretty fast. Yeah, pretty fast is pretty good. So you say you watch my videos, right? So you know that like traffic enforcement occurs in Pinal County. Okay. We're in Pinal County. So you gotta know that we're out here. Have you learned nothing from like 60 something episodes of watching me write people tickets? Man. Killing me. So it's still for sure a ticket though? Oh yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a ticket. That's, we don't give warnings for 31 over. That's, that's literally against my religion. You're 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. Six, locked in at 65 and a 45 right over at Empire there. Okay. So, and also, it shows that your registration's expired. So, is it expired or have you had a newer? Um, I lost the, the, the tag. You lost it? All right. No, that's a current. Oh! You didn't lose it. You just never put it on. Sorry about that. All right. Looks good. I'm gonna put this on there for you. And you'll be uh. Look at that. There we go. Much better. Hang tight for me. That's just a regular civil traffic ticket. It's not criminal. It's no mandatory court appearance. Anything like that. 
Any questions I can answer for you as I stand here? No, you're good. All right? I'm a big fan of the show. You are? Yeah. How often do you watch the show? Uh, I haven't watched it in about two weeks. Okay. We did an episode in this parking lot right here. And I said, I stop people all the time at the Medical Plaza on Gansel for speeding. So what that means is you need to watch more, and then you need to listen to what I preach. And he said, man, you, you got to know I'm around here making sure people aren't speeding. I didn't see the car. I, I, I watched the show. Look at your speedometer. Don't look for the car. Man, by the time you see the car, it's too late, man. Dude, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for being cool. Oh, my gosh. Hi. My boyfriend watches you on YouTube. Hi. Oh, my God. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you're 19 miles an hour over the speed limit. So you're 54 and a posted 35. Yeah, true story. It happens. It's a it's a thing. People speed. I stop them. We chat. Hi, right, see your driver's license, please. I think I left it at my house. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you have an obscured view with that thing hanging from your rear view mirror, and you're doing 48 miles an hour in a posted 30 mile per hour zone. You're not having an obscured view. You have something hanging from your rear view mirror that says the a and you can't have anything hanging from your rear view mirror because it obscures your view per Arizona Motor Vehicle Law. What? Yeah. I have never heard of that. And you got to wear your seatbelt. It's also seatbelts are important. So, but the. I've heard that in my life. Okay. Well, you're also doing 18 miles an hour over the speed limit in a residential zone. So, your first citations for your 18 miles an hour over the speed limit, then not having your insurance, not having your driver's license in possession, and not wearing your seatbelt as required by law. So within the pamphlet here is the... I'm sure you can f see my insurance and everything when you go look up my name. So we can't see insurance. We can only see registration. And that's because all the insurance companies are all individual companies. So they don't give us access to their database. But... I have access to everything. Just give me my ticket, bro. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm hungry. I Just give me the ticket. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. Please drive safely. Do you have a driver's license? No. Okay. Do you have a license plate? Uh, yeah, at my house. Okay. So, do you feel like you might need one of those to drive your yeah, dirt sorry, bike on the I'm road? I live over there. I'm trying to get home. I know, but you came from Walmart, which is like way over there. Yeah, I know. Hi, Mom. I watch you all the time. Well, I <laughs> I found your, your son here. So, your sidewalk goes from here to an intersection, right? Right. As soon as you cross the intersection, you're in violation. Okay. So. Uh, f coming literally coming out of this neighborhood, you can't get anywhere I because okay, you absolutely. have to cross because you have to cross the roadway. And as soon as you touch the roadway, you're in violation. So, get him a bike, let him drive it anywhere he wants. Trailer this out to the desert, drive it through the desert all you want. Dirt bikes are awesome. It's a, it's a great sport. Hi there, see your driver's license, please. Thanks. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you're 70 and a 50, okay. way down there, just a little bit north of Pinal of uh, Post and Butte. There. You already know, right? I know what. I see your TikTok. You what? TikTok. <laughs> Look in your rearview mirror. I know. Hi. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's very seldom is someone so excited to get stopped to get a speeding ticket. Every week I get recognized more and more as I'm out here pulling people over. Um, and it, I mean, it doesn't change anything. It's, I mean, a, a lot of people watch and it's, you know, I think they, they know what's going to happen uh, when I walk up to their window and they're 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. Are there any questions that I can answer for you before I kick you loose? Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Do people get a picture? Huh? Do a lot of people get pictures? Yeah. All the time. Oh, yeah. You want to get a picture? You want a selfie? So jealous. Let's do so. Tickets and selfies go together. Come on, I'll even get I'll even get down here with you. I'm shaking. It's okay, it happens. I'm just lying there my dog. Okay. Oh, I love dogs. Uh, he's a pit bull. I love pitties. Pitties are one of my favorite breeds. Ah, a little little stranger danger. Yeah. She's gonna be so That's my new wallpaper. Oh my well, God. thank you so much. Thanks for being cool. Just know that we're out here, the traffic yeah. unit's out here, and we're trying to slow people down and keep them safe, okay? Well, that doesn't happen every day. Um, and she just waved. She just waved goodbye. Um, like, that's a cool contact. Like, she's doing 20 over. She owns the fact that she was doing 20 over. Um, you know, asked for a selfie afterwards so she could send it to her boss. 
um, you know, took responsibility. Uh, I'm all over that. I mean, that's that's just if, if every contact could go that great, um, I think cops all over the place would have a uh, would have a better day.